Apprenticeships have hit the headlines this week following a report that claims apprenticeships are failing young people. With that in mind, we wanted to share our experience as a small business looking for a graphic design apprentice. When recruiting in recent years, we found that university can leave graduate designers unprepared for the realities of work. All too often, graduates didn't meet our business requirements and software skills were seriously lacking. So we looked at an apprenticeship as a way of giving a young designer an opportunity without spending three years at university burdened with debt. We could give them all the training they needed on the job, giving us a fully skilled professional designer who meets our business and client requirements. We interviewed a number of candidates in conjunction with our local college and quickly realised we needed more than a school leaver. We decided on a student who had already completed a year's apprenticeship at level three and looked to take him on as a level four apprentice, but it wasn't that easy. The report by the Social Mobility and Child Poverty Commission claims that most training courses taken were not a step up from the apprentice's previous level of study. That was certainly the case here, as the course infrastructure to support a level four apprenticeship in graphic design just wasn't there. Despite everyone's best efforts, we couldn't find a college to support him. So here's Nat. Um, Nat, just want to ask you a few questions. How did you find the uh, whole process of trying to secure an apprenticeship? Uh, at first it was quite easy, but then once I got settled in a little bit and tried to get the process of going to college, I found it quite hard to find a provider. How did you feel when the colleges couldn't support the apprenticeship? Uh, I felt I was really let down because I thought once I got this apprenticeship that the college was ready to provide me that uh, educational platform for me to carry on my uh, HNC level four. So, so where was the nearest college that could have supported you? Uh, the nearest college was all the way in London, Greenwich. Uh, it's just impractical for me to get there and back uh, once a week. So how much is this costing you to fund the course that you're now on? Around £2,400-£2,600 a year. And obviously if I was doing an apprenticeship I wouldn't have had to pay you that. So in the end the solution was to take matters into our own hands. We arranged for Nat to have day release from work to complete a level 4 BTEC HNC at a local college so he could continue to progress his qualifications while learning first-hand on the job. It's not an official government funded apprenticeship but it gives Nat his first step on the ladder whilst ensuring we have someone who meets our business needs. A great idea in principle, the apprenticeship scheme failed to meet ours and Nat's needs due to the lack of educational infrastructure. There just aren't enough like-minded businesses willing to support an apprenticeship at this time to create the demand. We'll be catching up with Nat again in the future so he can share his experience of learning on the job at Right on the Line. So if you want to see that, why not click to subscribe or give us a thumbs up if you liked our video. Thanks for watching.